Hello and welcome to the 340 Club. In this video, we're looking to simplify or rewrite this expression. The square root of 27, root 27, raised to the power, the square root of 3. So root 27 raised to the power root 3, right? So let's begin. The first thing we'll do is to write 27 as 3 exponent 3. So root 27 becomes the square root of 3 exponent 3. And everything is raised to the power root 3 as well. And the next thing we'll do is apply this rule of exponents, which tells us we can now write a square root as an exponent of half, right? So applying this rule, the square root of 3 cubed now becomes 3 cubed to the exponent half, right? So the square root of 3 cubed is now 3 cubed to the exponent half. And now we can apply this rule, which tells us if you have a power raised to another power, we can interchange the power. So a to the power x to the power y is the same as a to the power y to the power x. So at this point, I have 3 cubed to the power half. I can interchange the cube and the half. And I have 3 to the power half cube, right? Now sticking to that same rule, that same rule says what the power of a power, I can multiply the powers, right? So a to the power x to the power y equals a to the power x times y. So now this becomes that 3 and the root 3 can be multiplied. Now I have 3 to the power half to the power 3 root 3. And now I, can, I know that square root can be written as an exponent of half. So I bring that back in. And I have the square root of 3 raised to the power 3 root 3. So now we have the square root of 3 raised to the power 3 root 3. This is what we can do, right? So I can write root 3 as the same as the square root of 9 because the square root of 9 is indeed 3. So I can write 3 as the square root of 9 and then I can apply this rule. If I have the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b, which simply means the product of squares, the product of sets is going to equal the, the set of the products, right? So root of a times root of b equals root of a b. So root of 9 times root of 3 equals root of 27, right? Or 9 times 3. So square root of 3 raised to the power root of 9 times 3, which is square root of 3 raised to the power square root of 27. So, so far, we're going to show that root of 27 raised to the power root 3 is the same as root of 3 raised to the power root 27, which is interesting, right? So make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye.